The following is an extract from Wish You Were Here, A Rock Fantasy by Joyce S. Eikerson, A Friendship That Fies Time and Space. This rock fantasy, this band edition, bridges the love between bandmates with the pop paranormal set to a killer soundtrack. After years of depression, following the death of his soul brother, Thomas Avis finds himself in heaven. Guided by the angel Gabriel, Thomas sets out on an adventure, hoping to reunite with his beloved lead singer. Along the way, Thomas encounters famous artists and performers, laughing and learning from each other in a grueling quest to rock the heavens. He fights an uphill battle, trying to understand the rules, while exploring questions about legacy. He wonders if he ever... He'll ever find his mate. This book is available on Amazon. Chapter 2 What is a bar doing here? This has got to be something... Some really wigged out dream. I thought I walked in yet another door. Me eyes popped out me me head as I walked over then. Sat down on the bar stool. Like it was a second nature for me. What can I get you, sir? Me? Yeah. You are the only one here. A Guinness, please. One beer coming up. I fished through my money. Sack. Taking out a gold coin. You must be newcomer. The beer is free. What did you just say? Free beer? All oh, food is free. I better not have that beer. I had a little too much while on earth. Oh, you mean you saw the life on the, your life on the screen? Yeah. I'm oh, looking for someone. Everybody's looking for someone here. Yeah, I've been to my house, but I still can't sleep. How much time has passed? Well, there's no time in heaven. But some have tried different methods of keeping track of things. How many times have you seen your spiritual guide? Once. Or well, I have tea instead of that be, I think. Then a week hasn't gone by yet. Angels always come for the newcomers. At the end of the week. Oh, I have me tea, me, me tea with milk. I one lump of sugar. When does this place close? Never. We open all the time. I have only bartender who serves newcomers. Here, here is your tea. Wow, you just conjured this tea. Blimey, how did you do that? I can tell you, you really are a newcomer. Your angelic guide will help you master the skills you need here. I finished my tea, which tasted superb. Better than any I have had on earth I never had a, I never had a drink this good everything tastes great in heaven well thanks for the tea it's Jake nice to meet you Jake don't worry about things will make sense soon enough yeah I hope so bye gold coins houses bars in heaven oh, I must be out of my mind may I help you a tall man with a goatee just asked me a question I found myself in a guitar shop not knowing how much time had gone by. This man was wearing a checkered shirt. I had one just like his. I'm actually looking for somebody, but never mind. I like your shirt, by the way. And yeah, I'm a newcomer. I found myself saying the same words every time. I walked into a new place. Standing there, still confused, I looked at the instruments. Maybe I could turn this nightmare around, I thought. I spotted a guitar on the shelf, one which I... And when I was alive, how much is that for a one base? Oh, I didn't see no price tag. Well, it's actually half price. I will lend it to you for free for 30 days. Here it goes for around $3,000. It costs 15000 on earth. Oh, I'll just buy it. Sure thing, I'll carry it up to the counter for you. I reached in my bag and gave the money to the man. This should cover it. I said, lay the gold coin down on the bright yellow counter. He opened the register to make to make change. Keep it. I have plenty in my sack. I picked up the guitar. Blimey, it's light as a feather. Amazing, I can balance the guitar on my finger. Walking out of the store, I thought that maybe this dream was getting more exciting. Not believing what I've already seen in heaven. Returned in my own outhouse. I walked through my front door. Leaned my guitar against my black liver couch. I walked into the kitchen. The angel with a kind face was sitting in the chair, putting something into his pocket. Oh, 
two doors are never locked, Thomas, he said, as he, as if he could read them in faults. I sat down and just looked at him. So you're uh, Gabriel. Gabriel. The same Gabriel for the Bible? There are many great angels of the name of Gabriel. We all have the same mission. I rested my hands on the oak table. I guess I was giving up this, all, up on all this being a dream. What did you just put in your pocket? It's the most advanced microtelligen. They haven't been invented on Earth yet. There are many things that angels have that souls do not. We watch what goes on for enjoyment. We gain a sense of satisfaction by watching angels doing things for people on Earth every day. So while I was waiting for you this whole week, you watch this mini, watch the mini telly? Fine, I call it a mini. I still can't believe this. Everything I did here so far revolved around me looking for Paul. When I left you, I had helped other angels sort the prayers of people being to God. By the way, where is God? I haven't felt him since I've been here. The angel leaned over and took me took my hand. God is all around us. You see, right now, you're going through a transitional period. The lower levels feel God, but the higher you go, the more you understand him, and you will. It just takes a little time. Oh, so me, when I was me, right here, I saw angels in gowns. They're walking past me, going the other way. Are they fallen angels? No, they are souls who want to be like Angel Thomas. We've got a lot of work to do today. Yeah, I know. Oh, I've got an empty icebox and cupboards. I ran around so much that I forgot to buy food. Oh, wait, that's, that's free, isn't it? Actually, I'm going to help you with that right now. We're going back to the store? No, I'm going to show you the perks being a soul on level 5. Oh, really? I'm ready any any time that you are, Gabriel. Go to the refrigerator. I already told you, there's no food in the icebox or in the cupboards. The angel nodded. I walked over in the front of the refrigerator and opened the door, showing him the empty shelves. I want you to think about something they really enjoy eating or drinking. I focus on putting that in your refrigerator. I close my eyes. It will take may take a little time, so don't worry. That's what I want. I open a refrigerator and grabbed a can of soda. I can't believe that what's ah oh, ah oh. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, exactly what I wanted. See you did it on the first try. Well, I have a good teacher. Can I conjure up something else? If you if you want to, go for it. Your dream was going in a much better direction. I concentrated again. Within seconds, I opened up the refrigerator, pulled out a pint me hot pizza, like the kind I used to get from my favourite pizza place. Oh, I hope I've got the ingredients right. Blimey, this is good. Oh, I can taste the pepperoni and the cheese. Now you can make your own food. I then looked down on my clothes. Oh, running around wearing the same things for a week. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Clothes never get dirty. But some souls like to wear different things. Can I make food even if I never tasted it before? You can only make food you already tried. You want to be adventurous, you can go to the store, sample something, and then you can think it into your reality. Yeah, food is free after all. Suddenly I felt sad. It's hard to believe that I have to wait so long to see my family. Yes, there are many other places I can take you, though. You need to know how to get there. We can't walk there. This is getting weirder and weirder. I was reading a sign on a pole in front of the my house. I was standing with Gabriel on the well paved street. I saw my name there on the concrete. All I see is an empty street. There's no cars, but maybe we're waiting for a tram, Gabriel. Gabriel snapped his fingers. Thomas, you really must pay attention if you want to learn to fly. Fly? I'm looking forward to that. I'll make me search for Paul. Much easier than walking around everywhere. All you have to do is stretch your arms, close your eyes, and think about floating off the floor. Like this, Gabriel? Yes. Nothing's happening. I'm frustrated. This ain't working. 
Oh, just jump me around. Concentrate on the feeling of weightlessness. Here, let me show you. Gabriel rose off the ground. Not oh, fair. You got wings. Let me see. You do it without using your flappers. Suddenly, Gabriel stopped flapping his wings. He now hovered above the ground without moving. Bloody hell, okay. If you can do it without wings, then oh, so can I. All I have to do is concentrate on flowing. Right, Gabriel? Yes, Thomas. What if I think about an airplane? I try it again. No, nope. think I'm too big. Butterfly again. Nothing. Now I was thinking too small. How about Peter Pan? Hey, I just floated off the floor. You could. Very good. Now all you have to do is concentrate on my face, my face and you can go wherever I go. Okay. You flew for some known place. But I knew that I, if I could concentrate on Gabriel's face, I could focus on Paul's and find my friend. He hovered for a moment. It doesn't work on souls. You Only angels. Concentrate on me again. He knew what I was thinking. He flew again. I could feel the wind on my body. We landed in a place which seemed almost as surrealistic. Oh, no. Not this line thing again. While I was standing in a line, some of us went to the left, and some of us went to the right. What was all that about? Anyone on the left line was going to hell, right off the bat. They have no merits whatsoever. They deserve to go there right away. I'm really glad I wasn't in that line. You're a good person, Thomas. I smiled, Gabriel thought. I was a good person. So maybe this was such a bad dream after all. Where are we? Everything seems to be like a canvas. With all these different hues and colours. We're on the actual plane, the closest place to Earth. Why are we here? I, c- I can't take you to Earth. But these are, but all these we people do transcendental meditation. meditation. Oh, really? I have a mate, George Texman, who practices it. Don't see him here. Hey, what's with these, st- what these dolls? Something doesn't look right. I blinked my deep brown eyes. I looked at the stall again. Just one of the attractions. The astral plane, Circus Thomas. Ah, oh, bloody lips with her arms and legs. It's smoking a fag. I see you're a little unsettled. No kidding. This is blooming ridiculous. Do you want to see the next one? Does it matter since we've been pushed along anyway? Since when do squares have feet? He moved to the next stall. Gable, now we're in a sci-fi movie. That ain't as tall as I am. What's the next one? I could sure use a pen that writes on paper by itself. You seem to be getting into this. If this line that bothers me, why do people some come here in it again? You see, Thomas, these creatures have egotistic e- personalities. They want to show everyone how weird or remarkable they are, so they parade themselves in a big forum. So, what's in the next door? Yep, a giant spider that figures. A shimmering foot formation? That's the only normal thing I've seen yet. Blimey, it's making a sound like a horn. What does this dog thing end? This dog is coming up to me. He's licking me band. And, lay there. I bent down to pet the dog in a small, last hole. Stall. Blimey, it's a dog with a long snout and no eyes. This is one twisted place. How did you bring, why did you bring me here? I would have show you the strange stuff first before you look for your friend. You know about that too? Yes, we are angels. This is more, there is one place, more place I want to take you to on this plane. Lead the way. Oh, let me follow the yellow brick road. I was afraid I was going to hit the ground. Flying very fast. I kept my eyes open. I didn't want to miss a thing in this dream while I was full fields of flowers going past me but having it in mind I could catch up with Gabriel